Hello, my name is Troy Allen Gallot. Welcome to Trigger Time TV. For those of you guys that have to work in an office every day, pay attention. Tatiana Whitlock is going to talk about how to set up your office for self-defense. Hi folks, I'm Tatiana Whitlock and today we're going to look at office spaces. Where do you go to work? What does that environment look like to you? Think about where you sit in your office space and your relationship to entrances and exits, side rooms, closets, doors. How is your desk set up? We're going to take a closer look at one particular office space, what works, what doesn't, what limitations you have, and how you would have to engage, if necessary, if someone came into that space and threatened your life. So let's walk this way. We're going to go through an open door. What the nice thing about this is if you're in an office where you have an open door policy, that may mean more than just for PR. It may mean that you're able to keep a view of what's going on beyond that door. If you're not lucky enough to have a window, keeping that door open keeps you friendly with your coworkers and your employees and gives you an advantage that you can see what's coming. So in this space, we've got a cubicle. I've got limited mobility within this environment. But let's say I'm working normally here. I can see out that door. I can talk to my coworker over there, and I could see what would be coming through it. I also have my back to an adjacent door, and we're just going to call that a closet. It's not a major point of entry. If it was a point of entry, it probably wouldn't feel too comfortable having my back to that door. So right from here, let's say there's a problem that comes through that threshold. We'll eliminate any questions. It's an imminent threat to your life, and therefore you need to address it. First thing I'm going to do is position my body so that I am directly facing that problem. I'm going to go through a procedure to draw from here. I'm going to back away from the desk so that you can see my feet a little bit better. Ladies, we don't want to be stuck trying to draw with our legs crossed, so we want to plant both feet on the floor, about shoulder width apart. Drop your dominant side hand foot back, toe, ball of the foot to the floor, a little bit behind, so that as you draw, hand comes to chest, lift, meet, and I'm going to stand up. It's going to pin that chair or roll it away from me. I do not want that obstacle in my way. Now from here, if I have to engage, I'm going to engage accurately and rapidly to solve that problem. But the last thing I want to do is stay trapped in this space. I need to start moving. I'm not going to turn my back or go sideways to the problem. I need to stay in view of it. So I'm going to turn my outside foot outboard so that I can start this direction of travel while maintaining my muzzle on the original problem. The new backstop and berm that you have available to you is that problem, the problem that you just solved. Otherwise, muzzles go in bad places and people beyond or around you will get swept and we cannot allow that. So your new backstop and berm, your new safe direction is the problem that is hopefully now on the ground. From here, you've got options and choices. You may need to start communicating with that other coworker. You may need to give directions and instructions to the people in the environment beyond that room. It's going to be loud and noisy. So if your office doesn't yet have a plan to address those types of things, it's time to start considering them. It's also time to look at the setup of your furniture in those environments and make sure that it is appropriate so that you could respond well. We certainly don't want you tucked in a corner with your back to the door because, of course, that is the least advantageous place that you could be positioned. Now, what do you do from here? Ultimately, you're going to be looking to see if you need to render aid to anyone or to yourself. You're going to reholster nice and slow, control that firearm so that you have two hands free where you're able to apply tourniquets, address problems, make phone calls, control people absolutely vital that you think these things through when you're looking at your work environment and that your, you and your coworkers are on the same page, same sheet of music. So folks, train in the context of your life for the fight of your life and stay aware. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Bravo Company Manufacturing, B5 Systems, Sticky Holsters, Car Arm, American Tactical, Hudson Manufacturing, Silencer Co., Arachnagrip, JTAC Industries, 
Hornady, Kinetic Development Group, Prime One Camo, Cool, Rudy Project, and Peltor.